Hello and welcome to uh, another Witch 2 video. Hope everyone's doing alright. And uh, we'll continue from where we finished off the last video. A summit uh, of mages and um, I'm trying to get the last, I believe the last part uh, of the uh, Elder Blood uh, equipment which uh, are the Gauntlets. Yeah, I just needed uh, some leather for that, or some Arden leather rather. And then we can... And then we can be set. Since we can't really get any better armor. Unless we possibly buy some from the stores. But we can't craft anything else. And then back on with, uh, back on with the mission. In a hurry to see the deliberations. Here on urgent business. Your dress seems to confirm it. Excuse you indeed. I suppose I couldn't much care. I've heard what I came to hear. And what pray tell was that? The rightful heir will ascend to the Adernian throne. There will be peace in the land. What more could one want? Prince Stennis is here? King Stennis. Crowned two days past in Vengerberg. Merely send a messenger here. All those present promptly agreed that he will make a good ruler. Prince Stennis, a poisoner, coward, and schemer. He trembled with disgust when he spoke to the peasants. Disdain flowed from him like vomit. But he didn't deserve to be lynched. That was not the justice Saskia fought for. Prince Stennis I, son of Demavent III, became the 17th King of Edirne. He won the hearts of the people. They saw him as the hope of the nation. The realm, ravaged by war, needed a ruler sensitive to the plight of his subjects. King Stennis I was just that. Hmm. I guess. Hello, Chris. Missed me? Good that you're here. We don't have much time. Seems like we never do. True. First, we have to get by the guards. Leave that to me. Be careful. I'm always careful. <laughs> Tris Marigold. Guards, 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 and check money guards, just two guards, okay. Simple enough. Nee. Wrong sword. There you go. The King Slayer! Get him! <laughs> Just die. Don't make it too difficult on yourselves. Well, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> Might have tried to reason with them. Easier this way. Trust me. The path's clear. Can we go? For a witcher? Yeah, I suppose it's easier that way. And this is where I usually screw up, so um, it's a brazen attack. I made sure I didn't screw up. This. Actually read what was going on and I went back to pick up my best weapons. Just in case I need them. And then I went back. So the Kerm and Adendaif, however the hell you pronounce them names. I don't think there was anything else there that I wanted to get. 
So back to Trace and back no on to, to the Everything will be revealed at next last. part of the story. Whether you like it or not, John Natalis, Tamaria will be divided. For the good of the entire North. The united forces of Kedwin and Redania will end the fighting among the Elder Houses and secure peace from Gorsvelen to Elendor. At present, Tamaria is starting to resemble the Pontar Valley. Which, if I understand correctly, is currently controlled by Edern. You are mistaken, Radovid. Vergen is free. Free? What precisely does that mean? Lormark is not Kedwin's, and Eden no longer controls Upper Eden. We have rejected Prince Stennis. King Stennis? And handed King Hensel's army a resounding defeat. Your forces, my dear lass, are nothing but a motley array of rebellious peasants and elven brigands. Sooner or later, they will need to swear allegiance to someone, or they will be defeated and dispersed. The peoples of the Pontar Valley will swear allegiance to me, Queen Saskia. As an independent realm, we hereby speak in favor of reconstituting the Council and Conclave. You're a lovely girl, but you issue from common stock. The sole crown you are worthy of donning is a wreath woven of wildflowers. Redania will recognize no other coronation. In that case, you must choose King Radovid. Will you carve up Temeria, or march on the Pontar Valley? Henselt, last of the line of the unicorns, has sworn to recognize the Pontar Valley as a free realm. Philippa Eilhart witnessed it. Uh, uh, uh. Philippa Eilhart is in my dungeon, awaiting trial for treason. She was in your dungeon, Radovid, but is no longer. She will sit at my side in Vergen as my royal advisor. It's a pretty sight, must admit. To the matter at hand. The document describing the charter of the Council and the Conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the charter found in the ruins on Thanet Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate royal advisors. Today, randomly chosen majors and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisors? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And that they will keep the conclave's interests in mind. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed, as well as by all but one of the designated advisors. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you should be allowed to designate advisors to Cowherd at most. That is true, Your Majesty. Sheila de Tanserville should never be allowed to sign this document. Triss Merigold, you decided to join us after all. De Tanserville has royal blood on her hands. She can't sit on the Conclave. That is a lie. Have you anything to support these claims, Merigold? There are witnesses who will confirm that Sheila de Tanserville was behind the assassinations of Demavend and Foltest. Officials of the future Council and Conclave. Sheila de Tanzerville should be arrested and tried. If Triss Merigold speaks the truth, Lady de Tanzerville will be condemned to death. Nice armor. Sheila de Tanzerville, until Triss Merigold's charges are dismissed or refuted, you cannot sit on the conclave. Arrest her. You don't know the whole truth. Marigold doesn't know what she's talking about. Hmm. 
flash. That'd be good. Lucky. Kidnapped. Not really. Enter the dragon. Magic's no good here. Nice name. Nice. Sheila, you have to get Sheila. Okay, so I want to check if we could get anything from these bodies. But it became apparent that all uh, dead body and belongings was burned to a crisp, apparently. So uh, let's move on. Everyone there scared, waiting for me to do something about the dragon, I suppose. Stand back while you can, Witcher. That's not an option. You can't stop me, not you, not anyone else. Yeah, we'll see about that. idea why I wanted to be in the dark. I mean, I do like the dark, but that's a bit of a kill. Talking about overkill, as you can see there, I did not fall. That is utter bullshit. I should not have died. I did not die. Maybe they're giving me game over for failing to switch off the uh, torch. Perhaps that is what they meant. Well, I guess, yeah. I just had to run through them. See, there I kept running because I thought it was going to be the same the whole time. They had a different plan, so fair enough. I didn't bring barbecue sauce, so uh, they're not going to do that. Late. I've already managed to stabilize the portal. You've got nowhere to run. Sooner or later, somebody will find you. I prefer to leave on my own terms. Where's Letho? Sir Synthesis will tend to him, as she will to all the fools who get a hard on at the mere thought of burning a sorceress at the stake. Where is he? I don't know, fool. I've been looking for him since Foltest's assassination. Should I be calling him fool? Letho I cheated think. all of us. We were deceived by his dull face and sluggish stare. Don't you understand? The Lodge sought a way to get rid of Demavend, that's true. He was a weak, volatile king. Edurn would eventually choke to death under his rule. We chose the lesser evil. He had to be eliminated, and Letho happened to be at hand. Boltest? Henselt? We had nothing to do with that. After assassinating Demavend, Letho used our gold and magical support to find and meet Yorveth. The elf was to help him hide until the matter blew over, or so I thought. The Lodge did not condemn Foltest to die. Then who did? Nilfgaard. Letho is the King of Liars and Emperor of Traitors. From the start, he worked for the glory of the Great Sun and the White Flame dancing on the graves of his foes. He lied to everyone. Me, Yorveth, your stupid little Triss. Mm. And you. Got any evidence? Really should stop ago, insulting. I a message from the Lodge's agent in Sintra. The Imperial Army is on the move. They're fording the Yoruga now. Do you think the North can defend itself in the current situation? But can you count on another miracle at Brenna? I don't know, but you made it all possible and you'll answer for that. The stigma of treason is yours for all time. We shall see. For no one will leave this city alive. No one will tell this story. Philippa controls the dragon. As soon as I disappear, it will turn the city into a flaming tomb. We may have lost a battle, but the war is just beginning. You, however, shall not take part in it. This is your end. 
Witcher. Really? Farewell. Something's not right. Well, that's pretty. The diamond. Someone replace the diamond. This one's flawed. I'll be torn to bits. Geralt, remove it. Oh, well, maybe you shouldn't have insulted me in trash. No. Who's the fool now? Remove the diamond. I'll give you anything you want. No, I don't like diamonds. Not on this game, anyway. Oh, look! Barbecue sauce. Achievement as well. Oh, hello there. You ain't so pretty. I prefer you in human form. Oh, of course I had to be using the wrong sword. Yeah, no damage. Also, slicing the air instead of a dragon isn't exactly going to do much damage, is it? It took me a while to realize that uh, I had the wrong sword. Oh, look, causing damage! Silver sword! Well done, genius! Slicing air. Very good. Superb gameplay here. This is what uh, the tube is made of. I could also have used the other sword. The, the, my uh, highest hammer sword. But don't want to make it too easy, so I'm already playing on easy mode, so try not to go overkill. Plus, if I actually played properly, I wouldn't even be taking damage if I was losing control. That's okay. I wonder what kind of damage those heads do on hard mode or the other modes and beyond hard. I don't know what the is. No, that clearly didn't work. Not that I actually got any damage anyway. In fact, I started with uh, getting life back when I was taking some more damage. Cutscene. I did think about cutting some of these, not to spoil, but you know, the game is so old now that I think spoilers are an issue. I don't know why it didn't give me the option to uh, go up when I was first there. I'm like, oh, okay, well now I can actually jump. This bit here did actually take a while. Really slow process of going around, hitting, dodging, even using the, the right sword. So, I think on the other difficulties, you kind of really need oils on your blade, and you know, whatever increases you can get on a blade, and even yourself. <laughs> Pull the sword, jump off his end there. That's cool. And to be honest, even on easy mode. To make it faster, I don't know, one should really be using other stuff. Yeah, enhancements to uh, get it done, also with faster. Because it's such a long fight. Stop trying to barbecue me. It's not like you're gonna eat me anyway. So, like I said, it did take a while, so I did a bit of a cut there. Uh, 
trying to figure out if there's anything better that I can use. I jumped to hit it, I hit it, and then I also get hit in the process. Not sure how I ended up there with the... with the wrong sword. Nearly dead at least. I guess my, my di judgment of, of distance is uh, it's pretty appalling. I don't think I'm closer than what I actually am. Get out, what are you doing? We don't jump onto dragons. Let's go for a ride, baby. I did always want to ride Saskia, so I suppose. We get to in the end. We're trying to get like a wind resistance kind of thing, so it it around. So it's a good thing you jumped off, isn't it? Because um, you'd be you'd be that stuck on a on a wood stick. Not a stick, but whatever. I couldn't think of a better wood. Ah, oh, poor thing. They're suffering. I was actually surprised with your option. I was not expecting it at all. And then I had to think a bit. As I always do. I was trying to think, like, would that make any difference to the story, will I get to see the dragon later, or Sasuke if I don't kill her? In the end though, yeah, there's no point on, on killing her. Live and let live. A couple of achievements. Meanwhile, in Mokumoi. A list of the lodge's sorceresses. A list of the hordes you'll have this mind. That's a bit rude. Only some of them are hordes. I guess she hasn't got enough magic to make her... to make herself see. They get all excited. Ooh, ooh. Blind fit women. Mm. Maybe we can get something out of that. Oh, look. A little rat come to visit her. Uh, or mice, whatever. Oh no, she turned to a crisp. Oh, by the gods. Oh, no, she turned us into a crisp. Too. He's not doing so well. Maybe he's doing an abstract paint. Uh, it's being used as a brush. I wish I could light fire like that.
Well, that's close now, isn't it? Epilogue. I guess we're pretty close to the end then. Huggy, huggy, kissy, kissy. Are you all right? Better now. More or less. And the dragon? <laughs> Dragoness. Saskia's alive. Wounded and weak from loss of blood, but alive. The spell is still working. Unimportant. As long as Saskia lives, there's hope that we can break it. Besides, I don't kill dragons. Philippa won't easily give up such a powerful weapon. Triss, please understand. The last thing I want to do is slaughter one of the most beautiful creatures I've ever seen. Saskia is good incarnate. She's the exact antithesis of Eilhart and your former friends. They should be punished. Not the best start to that right. line there, but wanted... reasoning from... I know what you wanted and you're probably from right the it's written, way. in my opinion. But this time logic and calculation are unimportant. If we have even the slimmest chance of breaking the spell and freeing Saskia, we need to try. Let's get out of here. I guess Letho got away. He's waiting for you. Waiting. Hmm. Where the Temerians made camp. Come on. What do you mean, waiting? How do you know? Utter chaos broke out after the dragon attacked. I tried to reach Philippa's quarters. A terrified man approached me in one of the alleys, gave me a letter and begged me not to harm him. He said it was for you. The letter was short. I'm waiting in the Temerian camp. Letho. Where's the letter? What happened here while I was gone? All the kings had many more armed men than they should have had at a peace. During the evacuation, I want to fight the thing. Broke out. The Kedwenis clashed with the Let me, let me. The Order's knights raped two sorceresses and killed those who dared try to help them. Do you think the Council and Conclave will survive? Well, they're established, and that's the only thing that prevented a wholesale massacre. Hard to say if they'll survive. But for the time being, no one's got any better ideas. Mages are part of this world, whether people like it or not. They have to have their rights, their place. Otherwise, another lodge will arise. Okay. Your vet don't look so good. I think he's coming too. Oh, bollocks. The whore son's in agony. Won't be long now. Look at that. The cleverest of elven bandits, beaten burnt like ordinary scum. This is the handiwork of some mage. I'd wager my wife on it. <laughs> you shouldn't have taken that trinket. You know they'll ask what he had on him. And you'll not peep a word. Understand? <laughs> You remind me of Jack Sparrow for some reason. A dangerous prisoner here. <laughs> a prisoner? Did you capture him? None of your concern. Buzz off, freak. Uh, that's no way to talk <sighs> to Geralt. Any idea what happened to Roach? Yes. Radovid tried to buy him off. I'm sure you can guess Roach turned him down. Some things will never change. Tamaria might not be on the map of the north much longer, but as long as men like Roach are around, there is hope for its reaper. Don't pin that mess on me. I don't in You asked for the Yeah, last time I had to choose between who I had to save, but this time seems to be fairly clear. Those who have helped me shall get help. Uh, 
There we go. Wanna tell me what that was about? It's Yorvith. I owed him that much. I guess I missed quite a bit. Yeah. Can you help him? Uh, I'm sorry, Geralt. This was high magic. Treating him will take time, maybe months. I'm gonna miss the. You barely had to look at him. Stay with him, Triss. Like, look down. And now eh, nah, he's dead. Geralt. Can't help him. This is between me and him. You don't have to. I do. He knows how I lost my memory. The magic shield came down when the deliberations ended. I'll teleport Yoraveth out of here, far away to Vergen. All right. Take care of yourself. Get some orange. I guess pretty much the city is empty. Makes sense. Everyone is being evacuated, so. This is no place for witches. Really? Although I know you, and you appear wherever something important happens. True, though sometimes by accident. And this time, also a coincidence? Let's say I have something to take care of. In that case, hurry. Once we're done cleaning up this mess created by the royal soldiery, Loch Muin will be magically sealed. Getting out of here? Temporarily. We shall return soon enough to rebuild the city. Loch Muin will regain its former glory. Until that time, we need to keep the treasure hunters and troublemakers out. So Radovid trusts you? We shall win His Royal Majesty's trust by delivering Sheila de Tanserville and the other traitresses from the Lodge. De Tanserville will be a problem. Admittedly. Sheila can be slippery as an ass, <laughs> but we'll find her. You don't get it, Carduin. Sheila de Tanserville's dead, killed by an unstable portal. Shame. She was to be charged and tried. She would have been convicted of her crimes. Why does it sound like she was convicted before standing trial? It would have been a formality, true. And at once a warning to other sorceresses. Seems to me she led you down the garden path. Forgive me, I must attend to some matters. And don't dawdle, the city will be sealed in one hour. Booyaka! Puff, they disappear. Fast travel jutsu! Right, I guess that's the door. It's safe to be safe. And there is Leto! I've been waiting for you for a while and preparing for a while. So, um, yeah, got my bombs ready, got my throwing knives ready. Apparently that's good, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. And um, yeah, thank you all for watching. Hopefully the next video will be the last one. And uh, shall see you there. Thank you.